Let's talk about how to choose the perfect skis. Here's a breakdown of the various types. First, all mountain skis, the jack of all trades. They are versatile enough to handle groomed runs, off-piste adventures, and everything in between. If you're someone who likes to mix it up, these are your go-to skis. Race skis are not your gear of choice for a casual ski trip. They are long and heavy to help dig into the firm snow during races, but if you are training for the Olympics, these will be the right choice. Next up, powder skis. When the snow is fresh and deep, these wider skis will float on the surface. But if you opt for a groomed run most of the time, you don't need to worry about powder too much. If speed and precision are your game, carving skis are the right choice. With their narrower waist, they're built for sharp, clean turns on groomed trails. Think of them as the sports car of skis. For the adventurers among you, backcountry skis are designed for both uphill and downhill journeys. Lightweight for the climb, but still solid for the descent. Perfect for exploring the backcountry. Cross-country skis are compared to other types very light and narrow. They are intended for skiing on a flat terrain. For anyone who finds carving too boring, are freestyle skis the right choice? Built for the park, these skis are the best for tricks, jumps, and showing off your skills. If catching air is your thing, look no further. Ski skates are completely different from the types mentioned above. These super short skis are a mix of skiing and skating that brings new possibilities to snow. Whether you are a snow parks fan, or you are just looking for a super lightweight gear, ski skates are worth the shot. And last but definitely not least, ski blades. Ski blades are the ultimate skis for all types of skiers and terrains. Whether you are a pro or you are just beginning, ski blades will fit your needs. Alright, so you know the types, but how do you actually choose the right skis for you? It all comes down to five key factors skill level, terrain, style, bindings, and dimensions. Skill level is the key. Beginners should look for softer, more forgiving skis, while experts might prefer something stiffer and more responsive. Terrain is another key factor. Are you sticking to groom trails or heading off into the wild? Choose skis that match where you'll spend most of your time. Or even better, choose skis that will fit you in any situation. Your skiing style, whether you're carving, floating in powder, or hitting the park, should guide your choice. And don't forget about bindings. Bindings are the key factor that will make your skiing experience. You can choose from traditional release ski bindings, or go for a more affordable, lighter version of non-release ski bindings. And for all of us who are tired of uncomfortable ski boots, ski blades come with snowboard bindings too. Finally, dimensions. Longer and wider skis are better for powder, offering more flotation, while shorter skis are easier to control and give you more freedom and quicker edge-to-edge -edge transitions on groomed runs. Now let's talk length. Traditional long skis are great for deep carves and racing, but let's be real, most of us go skiing to have fun, not to win medals. If you aim for maneuverability, ease, and just having a great time, snow feet is the answer. They are short, super responsive, lightweight, and offer three binding options, snowboard boots bindings included. Plus, they're way easier to carry around. Here's a quick rundown of the top snow feet models. First, if you're into cross-country skiing, go for snow feet Nordic. They're easy to control and offer two binding options. Next, if you want to climb the mountains with your skis, Snowfeet Walk Ski is your best choice. These versatile backcountry skis come with removable climbing skins and universal free heel binding that works with your ski boots, snowboard boots, and even your hiking boots. Just strap in and go. If you're a skater or you want to try something new and have fun above all, try Snowfeet Pro or Ski Skates. These skates for snow turn your shoes or snowboard boots into mini skis and bring the thrill of skating to the slopes. 
Snowfeet Pro are a more affordable and versatile option, especially great for hiking and cross-country trails, while ski skates are best for ski slopes and terrain parks. It was a lot of fun, I think. It was easier than I expected. My favorite part was probably spinning in circles, since if they're shorter, it's much easier to turn. The review was just super fun. It's just so different for regular skiing, but it makes it so much more exciting. It's just so fun. I don't know, I had a blast. Snowfeet 65. These are perfect if you're into a skating-like experience on snow, quick turns, and tricks in the snow park. Plus, they are great for beginners and those looking to try something new. They're very fun. You can just like do whatever the hell you want with them. Yeah, the snow feet were so fun. I feel like you have a lot more like freedom. It just feels like you're like ice skating or something. It's so worth it and it's so fun that by the end of the day, you'll just already be a pro. It was so fun. <laughs> better than skiing. Oh my gosh. Way better than skiing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I get a pair of these. I'm out of breath. Yeah. skis. <laughs> Next, Snowfeet 99 offer a more traditional skiing feel, but with enhanced maneuverability. These are great for most skiers and really shine when carving. All right, just took a run. Uh, these were a ton of fun. I mean, definitely a lot, a lot lighter, a lot more uh, agile, I guess, than, than your regular pair of skis. Uh, the park, I like doing a lot of you know jump stuff like that. So it was really fun to see how light these were and how quick I could turn around. Uh, very different feel from regular skis to me. So it's a thumbs up for sure. If you get the chance, definitely give them a go. Um, a lot, of, a lot of fun for sure. And finally, Snowfeet 120. This all-mountain model excels in carving, handling moguls, and bumpy terrain. If you love the feel of long skis but want something more agile, these are the ones to beat. So there you have it. Choosing skis is easier than it seems when you keep in mind the number one rule. You have to enjoy your time on the slopes. So pick your favorite, and we will see you on the slopes.